Now this is actually one of the pieces from my first collection. I had a lot of scrap fabric from that collection. Pink cushion. This one I got from my mother-in-law. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 fun and creative ways that you can reuse, repurpose, upcycle and give new life to all of the scrap fabrics that you currently have and you don't know what to do with them. So let's jump straight into this. The first thing I'm going to be sharing with you is a simple scrunchie which is what you use to sort of tie up your hair or keep around your hand when you're working. This is something that I used to call or we used to call hair packer growing up because you use it to pack your hair away from your face this is just a simple black velvet one here this i've had for ages but you could use all kinds of like colorful print fabrics with texture with colors to make yours and this is really simple and easy to make so this you can also sort of add like a long strip of fabric uh, on one end so when you use it to tie up your hair it sort of dangles down and looks like you use a ribbon like a long ribbon to tie up your hair and it looks so cute so still on hair and accessories you could definitely try making a simple round beret from your scrap materials now this is actually one of the pieces from my first collection i had a lot of scrap fabric from that collection and i just felt so bad throwing them away so i ended up developing a beret that looks like this it's a simple round beret so this one sits like that you can wear it to the front you could wear it to the back so I can make this fit over my braids you can wear it to the back and it's a really nice sort of like winter fall hair accessory the third thing you could actually make is a hair band and that this is the one I have on right here this one I got when I went to Tenerife from a brand called Alehu Ali Hop and what they've done here very clever it's a simple black hair band and what they've done is they just tied a knot on top here with the material and then spread it out across here and here to cover the top of the hairband and then wrapped like a black ribbon across the bottom just to conceal the edges of the fabric so when you have it on it actually looks like you tied a scarf around your hair if you look on top like this i actually really really like this hairband i've been wearing it a lot since i got it you could also add some beads some sequins i saw some really beautiful ones that had like gorgeous detailing on the side so it's a project that you could do with your sister your mom your friend over tea over wine while watching a movie or something because the end result looks really really beautiful so the next thing you can definitely make with those scrap fabrics is any type of like small purse wallet bag you notice like really small square round rectangular shaped bags that do not consume a lot of fabric so if you have some spare leather some spare felt Anything that has like a little bit of structure you can use to make a small bag, like a small mini tote. You could also make like a cute drawstring bag. Those are very, very popular. And those are part of my first collection as well. I also added some scrap fabrics from this beret onto those bags. So it's just being clever with how you reuse the materials. So the next group of items are jewelry. So earrings like this one here necklace bow tie necktie you can actually make from your scrap fabrics i remember in about 2013 to 2014 my sister was really into making this like bold statement like earrings necklaces and footwear with very tiny bits of fabric from maybe my own sewing project or from her sewing project because she's into like sewing and designing as well and they looked so good and sister actually sold it and made money from those things so you could go for sort of like smaller dainty ones like this one i have here so this one i got let me see if i can show you guys this one i got when i went away to when i went to get to portugal and portugal there was there were like several shops that had a lot of like touristy things that were made from you know the cock that you get out of like a wine bottle when you pop a bottle of wine like that cock yes that one 
they actually reuse that to make bags earrings necklaces like hats all kinds of things and it just makes you think wow these people are actually so creative moving on to the next group of things that you could create from your scrap fabrics is baby clothes baby beads baby shirts baby trousers because they are so small and cute and adorable their clothes don't actually require a lot of fabric to make so if you have a piece of fabric that is about half a meter wide less than half a meter you could easily make like a baby bead that sits around the neck of the baby even if you don't have a child you could give this as a gift to a friend who has one you could retail them online for profit if you want to but the next thing that i actually curious to try out is a scrap rug i've seen a few different variations on pinterest and on social media i've seen the one where they cut really long strips of the scrap material and then they make these like chunky braids and then stitch the braids together either by hand or by like a really heavy duty industrial machine into either like a circular form a rectangular form and they just look so beautiful i've also seen the technique where they sort of like cut really short like strips of the scrap fabric and then they they sort of like tie it into like a mesh type base and it creates this hairy textured rug i remember seeing it in my mother-in-law's house and i was like that must have taken so many hours to make and I'm actually really curious to try that one out. I know it's going to take lots and lots of hours to make but if you guys want me to try out the scrap rug, <laughs> make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. So the next thing that you can definitely try out is a pink cushion. This one I got from my mother-in-law. She's very very like good with like making little like DIY thing. So when she sent this to me, I was like, how did you know I needed a pincushion? Because I actually needed one. This one is shaped like a, I want to say like an apple or a tomato, because you can see like the green leaves on top. And then it has a string. And I normally just hang this on my sewing supply wall in the studio. There's so many different types of pincushion you can make. You can just make like a simple round one. You can make one that is like oblong. You can make one shaped like a chicken, a carrot, fried egg. There's so many different cute ones that I've actually seen and you can try out. So I just have to mention patchwork. I think patchwork is like the most popular, like most used and most common way to like reuse scrap materials. This is I want to, I don't know what to officially call these. Uh, let's just call them table mats, but these I put on the table and then I put like a hot pan on them and it prevents the pot from burning my wooden table. These, my um, George's grandma actually made these for me. She was also really good with like sewing and crafting. So this, I can tell that she combined two to three different fabrics and she made this like cool texture on the surface of the table mat you can make this bigger so you can actually serve like plate fork knife and a cup on this you could also use patchwork to create bed sheets pillowcase actual fashion garments like i've seen a lot of like denim leather patchwork that actually looks so good like I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you learned a thing or two. I hope you also found some things that you could possibly create with your scrap materials. If you guys ever try any of these, please share on social media, tag me as well at Kim Dave Designs. If you also know any other things that you could possibly DIY with scrap materials or sort of like upcycle garments that are dying but you want to give them a new life, Please share in the comment section down below. If you've tried any of these projects out that I mentioned, share as well. Also give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful, informative, or if you just plainly enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay safe. Bye. Uh, no, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Another long train as well. It's this long sleeve. Oh, these cups are so pretty. So it's like a long sleeve um, 